Hello and welcome everyone. So in today's episode, we're going to take a look at ADA USD, which is Cardano quoted in US dollar. Now, Cardano has been one of the best cryptos of the year so far, especially after the big run that it had in February. Now, we did have a big move in February, corrected a bit uh, at the beginning of February, corrected a bit and then big move up, corrected a bit. And we're going to ignore this price action around here, move up and then we corrected a bit. Now we created in the last correction, we created this bull flag here and uh, we could also argue that this is a descending triangle, a descending triangle that failed, failed descending triangle because uh, in uh, the descending triangle, they are pointing to um, price down. So and how you can get the target of descending triangles that you take the high, how big the triangle is and you put it uh, at the level that it break through now two sec at the breakthrough and it gave us this target of 0 060 now to be honest with you well when it comes to what what is going on at the market and what's going on with the us dollar and what's going on with uh, the crypto market in general this uh, this was a very low probability scenario especially with the price that it's so down at 0 060 now in the in the last bull run that we had in Cardano, the price never closed below this 233 EMA, 233 period EMA on the four hour chart. As you can see, the price uh, came close to it. U turned, came close to it. U turned. That right now at two times we did test it here, and it U turned, which means that this EMA here is a very strong support. And if you look to go long, this was a very good entry. Is a little bit above this EMA. Now, this is why this scenario wasn't the most probable one. This is why I see it more as a bull flag rather than a descending triangle. Now, um, we did break uh, in the upside. And this is good if you, for the people who are long and for the people who, who got in long. It's good because right now the, um, the bull flag is pointing at much higher price. Now, the next target, to know the next target, we're going to use Fibonacci expansions. So... Um, We're going to take the highs, the lows, and when it comes to here, we're going to take the start of the bull run around here. And as you can see, first of all, it gave us this target of 146, which is the highs. Now, 146 are the previous highs, and uh, we, we can, in my opinion, we're going to move up, have some choppiness around here, around the, uh, around the, around the highs, before having a big move up, very quick move up, though it's and the price is much higher and in my opinion we probably gonna go around 190 I uh, in around the 190 area but first we're gonna have to take the 175 area around here and then if you do if you do take the those area then the 190 is a very probable scenario and then we could have a correction around that area like we did here but the signal the very strong buy signal would be given after uh, the price would break the highs around here because if you look back here we we moved up chopped up around the the highs and then when it we did break it we had a big move to the upside same for here we chopped around and then had a big move to the upside after we broke so keep this in mind now this was when it, when it comes to the technical analysis of cardano Note that Cardano is quoted in US dollar, so you have to take a look also at the US dollar. Now, when it comes to the US dollar today, there is a very important event, probably the most important event of the month, definitely the most important event of the month, and probably one of the most important events of this year. Since the yields are running very high, last time I checked, they were around 1.68%, and um, this... Uh, today, the the Fed will announce their interest rate decision, and during the FOMC press conference, there'll be questions asked by generalists uh, to the FOMC committee to uh, to Jerome Powell the, about yield control, uh, about the yields, uh, about the stimulus, probably, and a lot of questions would be asked uh, during this press conference. And here. A lot of analysts, when it comes to yield control, a lot of analysts are saying that it's not a question of when, but uh, it's not a question of if, but more a question of when. 
uh, and uh, if we do have yield control, yield control would require the Fed to print a lot of money in order to control the yields. And if that happens, and if that's the case, this would be a very, very bullish signal for uh, for for the entire cryptos, for uh, for metals when it comes to commodities and for cryptos as well, because it will send the dollar lower and therefore the cryptos higher. So maybe today, uh, if we do have that announcement, we could have this target, we could break, uh, we could move up and break this target uh, very quickly. Um, in the days and weeks to come. Now, keep in mind that this is the first scenario. The second scenario, it, it, it could be that the Fed is just going to avoid the questions. And if that's the case, and they did it before, Jerome Powell did it before when asked a question about yields, when he avoided that question, uh, the market went down afterwards and the dollar went up. So keep in mind that there is there's a lot to anticipate from this event and this is a very important event to watch for now going back to the us dollar the us dollar right now is trading as 92 92 is a very strong level of resistance as you can see here um it moved uh, the resistance is the uh, 144 daily ema and also the 50 percent retracement of the uh, fibonacci expansions and the previous uh, support around here and this is a very 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 strong level at the moment if we do break above this level and we keep going we take the highs here this could be a very bearish signal for uh, for cryptos and for commodities as well because the next target would be around 93.50 or even 94 so keep this in mind however if we do fail to break out and keep moving to the downside this could send everything the market equities cryptos and uh, commodities everything that's quoted in us dollar especially the safe haven asset like bitcoin like gold like silver like ethereum all of these uh, acting as safe haven asset uh, could be uh, could be sent to the upside when the us dollar moves to the downside so these are the things to keep in mind. And if you're trading, if you're day trading, if you're scalping, be really careful of this event. It's it's going to be in around uh, an hour. Uh, it's going to be around an hour and a half uh, when it comes to the interest rate decision. And it's going to be uh, in around two hours when it comes to the um, to the FOMC press conference. Uh, so be really careful about this now. Have a nice trading week and uh, see you on the next episode.